Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for, well, it could be today, could be tomorrow, could be the next day. Um, this is being recorded on the first, so it could be the second, could be the third, could be today, could be next week, okay? So what do we have for a message today? I have just opened a tarot class for anybody that's interested. If you're interested, you can send me an email. It's $250, six week session, intuitive tarot reading. Um, so it's a two hours, two hours um, for six weeks. I have scheduled it for a Wednesday night, Eastern time. If six participants per class, if you are interested, you can send me an email. What do we have for a mass? Oh, I want to say thank you to Joanne for the donation. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. What do we have for a message today? Ooh, the magician. As above, so below. So the magician is a yes answer. It's a it's a manifester. This is somebody that is very powerful. This is somebody that is uh, willing to do whatever it takes to bring success, willing to shed the old, to bring in the new. Um, this is doing something to create. This is a creator that is doing something. Could be a Gemini. Um, doesn't have to be. But this is somebody that is taking action right now. Okay, this is... Um, Somebody that has a divine connection to source, okay, and they're using their resources to create something. Creating something new. Oh, let's cut the deck, huh? So we do, do have something new because ones are new beginnings manifesting something through thoughts and action. A magician is somebody that believes in themselves, believes in their abilities. So somebody is, is using their resources, they may be finding the resources to create something new. So somebody's doing something to create something new with the willingness to shed the old. I'm going to do whatever I got to do. It's like I'm going to shed the old to create success. So that's what that magician is doing. Mm. Two of Wands and the Seven of Cups. Now, the Two of Wands, we have somebody here that is has been thinking. Okay, they're at a crossroads. They're at a turning point. They have an exciting opportunity in their hands. They've been stuck trying to decide, should I stay? Should I go? What should I do next? This is obviously some sort of decision. Maybe we have somebody here that is in a period of planning. They may be making a spur of the moment decision to go. They obviously have a new vision. They are at a turning point. It's like at that point in their life where, you know, they can keep doing what they've been doing or they can go down the path less traveled, you know, that, they, that they're not familiar with. So we have somebody here that is in a position right now where they're, making a choice and this may require them or will require them to step into unknown territory there's some there's lots of options right there's multiple choices here you know we have somebody here that may be confused because there's so many choices there's so many options you know you ha there's consequences for the choices that you make you know whether you stay or you go or you choose this option or you choose that option this is definitely a period of, I'd want to say thought, deep thought. And this is, the magician is your thoughts become things, okay? So there's thoughts here. There's definitely some thoughts here. Um, but this is a be careful with your choice because what you own owns you. What you choose is going to be obviously your path. You know, this is choosing a path, choosing a direction. So we have somebody here that is making a choice. Right here. <laughs> Go figure. Anyhow, somebody is making a choice right now. 
because they have there's there's plenty of options there absolutely is okay they can stay where they're at or they can choose something else right this has to do with expansion You have to choose wisely. Be very careful with your choices at this time. Remember what I said at the very beginning when that magician came out, as above, so below. Somebody has manifested something through their thoughts. Now they have to make a choice, but be careful of false beginnings. Choose wisely. Choose wisely and be careful about, you know... You know, if you want to have success, you may have to choose another option. You may have to step into unknown territory. You may have to go down that path that you've been reluctant to go down. This is a choice. This is, these are both choice cards. And there's consequences either way, whether you stay or you go. I feel like we have somebody here choosing another option, to be honest. Okay, that's what my intuition says. There's an exciting opportunity here. It's a golden opportunity. There's an exciting opportunity to have success, to do something that you love. It is a golden opportunity. That, that magician has all the aces in it. This is an opportunity to create something new. But a one is independent energy. It's you. It's you. You have to do it. You, it's your choice. Your success is your choice. So there's consequences whether you stay or whether you go. Either way, there's going to be consequences. But you have the power and you can find the resources to succeed. You have to believe in yourself. You might have to put yourself out there, put yourself on the stage like the magician does, right? You have to use your skills. You may have to learn new skills. The magician has to learn skills continuously to succeed. The magician has to believe in themselves. You have the power to create whatever you want, but you have to believe in yourself. You have to make the choices that you need to make to succeed. And you have to be willing to shed the old ways. The magician constantly has to evolve, right? Constantly. I mean, I don't know if we're going to get any more cards. I mean, come on now. Something is off. There's a need to re-examine. It's interesting. The magician and the, and the temperance reversed. This is about alchemy, right? This is lack of evolution. It is time to evolve. What, you don't want to evolve? Are you scared to evolve? Are things up in the air? They're all over the place. Do you need to, to realign? Is there disharmony right now? There's a need to focus on your long-term goal, your long-term plan. The magician's a planner. Two of Wands is about planning as well. In order to have harmony, you know, you need to take action. You need to take action.
the, the, the temperance reverse is going to extremes. It's going overboard. It's a lack of moderation. Everything needs to be done in moderation. There, somebody's going to extremes. They're going overboard. Somebody may be doing too much or they're going. There could be poor health. <sighs> Frustrations, disharmony, an imbalance. Could be even a mental imbalance here or just an imbalance, however the imbalance is. Fighting change, struggling, not going with the flow, which is causing disharmony and upset and frustrations. Resisting. This is resisting change, resisting evolution. Somebody's going overboard because that is what temperance is. It's lack of moderation. It's, it's resisting. Somebody's resisting. They are resisting. Instead of allowing. Instead of accepting. And I think that there's frustrations. A lot of frustrations. A lot of upheaval. A lot of chaos because of the resistance. It's all about the choices that you make. You know, for some of you, when you get temperance reversed, profound self-healing is needed or there's a need to re-examine something. Hmm. Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but it could be anybody. The Queen of Cups. <sighs> Withholding, because, you know, I, I know that the, cup, the cover is on the cup and that's because she's mastering her emotions, but the cup should be open. You know, there's an, I, as far as I'm concerned, there should be open communication. There should, but there's with, withheld communication. This is a card of communication, but that cup is closed. Somebody may be withholding communication or they're withholding their feelings or something like that. Anyhow, um, Queen of Cups is typically a lover, somebody that is very sweet, very kind, very generous, very, a healer of some sort, has the, uh, has the skills to, to heal may have a healer here. Maybe have somebody that is doing something to heal because temperance reverse is a need to heal. Prof like I said, profound self-healing. And it's very crazy that I just, I said that right before this cat card came out. And at the beginning, I said, the magician is all about yourself. It's a one. It's about you. Self-healing. Self-love. Somebody needs to take care of themselves. They need to take action. They need to love themselves. They need to act on love. You, there needs to be love. There need self, profound self-healing is needed. Somebody needs to focus on themselves. And it is about focusing. It is about focusing. They need to focus on themselves. They need to love themselves. And they're very frustrated and upset about releasing something. It's time to focus on the future. And I say that because of the two of wands. There is an opportunity here. There's an opportunity to expand and go in a new direction. But you're going to have to face your fears. And you're going to have to do it out of self-love. And you need to listen to your intuition. Because both these cards are highly intuitive individuals. Or highly intuitive energies. Okay? Listen to your intuition. You have the skills. Okay? Ah, but we have somebody here that hasn't been interested. They haven't been practical. Maybe they've been in some sort of state of illusion. Back to that seven of cups. That is illusion, fantasy. And then we had the two of wands right next to her. Maybe we have somebody here that's turning their back on an illusion, turning their back on a fantasy. They're making another choice. Back to that cut. Two of wands, seven of cups. That's literally going in a new direction. I'm done with the illusion. I'm done with the fantasy. I'm, I'm done. Okay. So this Knight of Pentacles is not interested in putting in any effort, not doing any work. It's irresponsibility. It's not wanting the responsibility. It's not going anywhere. Something isn't going anywhere. There could be uh, laziness. There could have been unfaithfulness. Or there's just, we may even have a sponger here. We have somebody here that's not interested in putting in any effort. They have not been. This is below. 
okay so if somebody has not been interested in doing the work or putting in the effort or you know accepting responsibility and back to that temperance card reversed as well going overboard not not managing themselves not managing their feelings not managing the situation you know repeating negative patterns somebody has not been managing themselves and it is about themselves okay you can point the finger at somebody else that's you not managing yourself that's you not managing your emotions when you don't want to accept any accountability for anything about you when you're focused on somebody else that's you not managing yourself and I, obviously people are getting mad at this point and that's okay anyhow knight of pentacles reverse that's not accepting responsibility it's not being practical it's not putting in any effort it's not realistic okay somebody hasn't been realistic they haven't wanted to do the work and now it's action time we may have somebody here that is listening to their intuition and they are doing something uh, spontaneous they're making another choice because something isn't going anywhere sun new vision i knew that we did enlightenment it's a new day it's a breakthrough we do have a breakthrough here. I feel like we have somebody here that has gone through a period of enlightenment. They, it's like they're waking up. They're seeing things clearly. They've had some sort of epiphany after there's been some sort of stagnation or halt or no progress or something like that. But the fool reversed is... fearful it's fearful fearful of taking a risk fearful of falling somebody may be seeing because this is clarity that they made a poor judgment call they may be seeing that they were naive. Somebody may have missed an opportunity because of fear or they're missing an opportunity because of fear. There's a need to take a risk. Somebody in this reading does have a new vision. But there's some sort of stagnation because of, I don't know, not wanting to put in the work or lack of practicality or illusion or whatever the case is. But this is seeing very clearly. This is a breakthrough. So somebody does see something clearly about something. But this fool reverse, this is something not going. It's like stuck. It's, it's not going anywhere. Okay. There's no long-term plan. There's no commitment. It's clear. It's very clear. There's no stability in it. It's clear. So somebody's making a choice back to the cut. Could be spur of the moment. It could be. I think they've been thinking about it for a while. It's definitely action time. Somebody's been on the edge anyway. Because we have the edge here. And then we have the edge with the two of wands. They've been on the edge. right? They've been on the edge of making this choice. But there's fear of falling or fear of making a mistake fear of making the wrong choice fear of instability fear of not being able to afford it fear of you know financial loss fear of making the wrong choice that's what's holding somebody back your fear will hold you back for the rest of your life if you allow it and you will never succeed if you let fear win. This is, a, this is about free will. You have the skills and the power and the resources within you. Okay? 
You do. But you have to take risks. You have to listen to your heart and your intuition. And you have to believe in yourself. Ten of Wands is about, well, that's dropping weight, dropping a burden, burden, making a conscious change to let something go. That's what we have coming. Somebody is going to be making a conscious change, okay? They're going to be dropping something that they have been holding on to. It's dead weight. It's response, it's, it, maybe it's too many responsibilities. Maybe it's too much to hold on to, whatever it is. This is letting go. Cause this could be even a collapse, you know? It could. Somebody's tried really, 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 really hard to make something work. They've worked really hard, you know? They've tried hard. They faced a lot of challenges, a lot. And now maybe we have even have angry and upset back to that temperance reversed and frustrated. Going to extremes to make something work, right? It's not working. It's time to release. It's time to let go. It's time to breathe. It's time for relief, okay? Hang me in reverse. Yeah, somebody been hanging on for dear life to something. Refusing, struggling, like I'll get out to let go. I will not let go. I will not change. That is what the hangman reversed is, right? This is somebody that is sacrificing themselves for a belief or a situation. They're hung up on the past, obsessed with control. Obsessed with hanging on, will not evolve, will not look at things from another perspective. Very stubborn, extremely stubborn. We have some extreme stubbornness here. But this is, this is a realization, this is a breakthrough, this is a life-giving energy. It is a clarity, it is a new day, it is a new vision. Somebody is seeing something, okay? But there's still fear in release, fear in letting go because maybe, maybe we have somebody here that has been protecting themselves, burying themselves, not wanting to feel comfortable in some way. It made them feel like they were in control. This will be a release of control. It's letting go of control to bring peace, to bring harmony. Letting go of something that is heavy, you know. Letting go of the need to prove as well. Both these cards are about proving a point. What do you got? What You got to prove something to society. You got to prove something to other people. You got to prove something to yourself. Because of your own insecurities, your own insecurities, your own instabilities, because of a lack of self-love, you got to prove something to somebody else. It's because you're in your ego. Or if it's embarrassing. People do it all the time because it's publicly embarrassing. Who gives a shit? The person that's in their ego. Somebody is releasing their letting go of, it could be a person or an energy that they have been holding on to. It's going to bring relief. That's why I, I breathe. It's like, whew, what a relief. The weight is over. The weight is over. It's disappointing. It may be sad. Okay, that's the Five of Cups and 
I had just reset my camera before this because I hit a button. Anyhow, Five of Cups is an emotional disappointment. It's an emotional loss, okay? It's difficulty. It's emotional difficulty. This could be even anger. It could be deep sorrow. But this is also focusing on the past. Could be even self-blame. There's a need to release the guilt, okay? Let go of the, the need to prove yourself. Focus on self-love. It's time to take action. You have some sort of vision or you have the clarity. Some of you have received some sort of clarity that probably has changed your perspective. Whatever this clarity is that will change your perspective or has you changed your perspective, that is, but you're unwilling to let go of or acknowledge and you're unwilling to release, please let it go. You have the skills to succeed. I feel like we have somebody here that's going to be taking action, okay? And they're going to be doing something out of self-love. There's been a lot of fear in release. There's been fear to accept change. But we do have a new vision. We have a new day. We do have a release here. We have, we do. It's a release of the need to prove. It's the release of, I don't know, responsibilities even for some. It's the release of a burden. It's the release of something that has been holding somebody down. Um, it's making a conscious change. It's on the road to balance and harmony. I feel like we have somebody here that's made a poor judgment call because of stubbornness, because of ego. And maybe it's a release of ego. We could go all day, but I have to do some of my monthlies. Good luck.